Well, we've got something to work with. Let's say you got a project and you got something happening. And you play it back and you like some of it. Okay, that sounds good, but you want to save it. Let's do that. So we have a couple of options here and we're gonna go over our first option. But I will explain a couple of them too. So look, the first one is save project. That'll save everything. Songs, setup, MIDI files, whatever in this whole project, it'll save all these programs you see right here. All the samples. It'll save the sequence. Everything will be saved. Okay? Including your setup, your parameters, all that. Sometimes you may want to do a save project as. Sometimes I'll do a remix. And one version is one way. The other version is the remix way. And so I want to save it as a different project. So what I'll do is I'll save project as. And I'll click right here. And I'm going to come up with a name. So I can save it as a template. Now if I save it as a template, that means I could bring it back up. Just as the template, nothing will be in it. And I'll save this project as just what I want to have in that template. So I could do one or the other. And I would come down here and save this file would be a, um, let's say I call this my R&B songs demo template. And I would save it and find a destination to save it. So let's cancel this. Now I'll go back here into save and I can save as. Most the same dialog box comes up here. I can go to here. I can pull this out of here. Save it says that. You'll see it has the extension .xpj for MPC project. Let's cancel that. And next here we have, I can save all the programs, save the current program. I'd probably select the program here. That'd be my current program. And I would say, save that, save just the current sequence, or save the MIDI control scene. Let's do the first one. We're going to go here to save project as. That's the right order your name here. So I'll go here. I want to create a new folder, but I want to find a location. All right. So, so far, I'm right here in the library of the application of uh, my Mac, and I definitely want to go to my main Hard drive, my Mac hard drive right here. So uh, I'm going to put this in, put this as songs and R&Bs demo, and then I'll make my new folder here. And I'll call this Akai Touch Songs. Now we see the folder right here. This is my folder, so I probably want to open this folder up. It's empty. And now I want to put this uh, song R&B demo in here and we'll press save. And now it's going to save that entire project inside that folder. And we see the progress going on here. So you can see it's saving samples. A lot of samples it's trying to save here. And sometimes if you don't want to save everything, you can always go to this little trash can right here. And you open it up and you can select purge unused samples. So whatever you're not using, it'll throw it out. But in this case, we want to save it because we may want to use some of these samples in other projects or uh, some other way to remix the song. We'll keep the samples there. Now, once this is done, then we're ready to go. Now, once it's done, you can find it. So I'm going to go back here to my hard drive, open my hard drive up, and here it is right here. I'll click on it and you'll notice right here, we have these items, songs, R&B demo, and this is project data. You see in the brackets here, it says project data, right? So let's sort of stretch this out a little bit more. There you go. And then right here, we have the project file, which is the songs, R&B demo, and the .xpj is the project file. And then the size appears here. So I can open this up as well. And then here we see everything that's in that project. All samples, everything is right here. Primarily just all samples. And we've got this XPM here for some sort of lead. So everything is in here pretty much. All the files are here. 
and we can just uh, close this folder and these two files are linked to each other open a project I click here and we're ready to go